Well, got a special spirit that you can only get here on Earth, <laughs> Tennessee whiskey. A lot of people like that one. <laughs> In the last decade, thanks to legal changes, more distilleries have popped up all across the state. News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky takes us to Thompson Station, where Company Distillery is having their grand reopening with some familiar faces. Company Distilling is about the spirits, but also about much more than bourbon, whiskey, or gin. From the time that I was a kid, I can remember my mom telling me that I needed to take a shower or clean up my room because we had company coming over. And these were people that weren't necessarily family members, but they were people who were important enough to us that we wanted to give them our best. And we felt like that was an appropriate name for us. Giving their best from some of the best, like Jeff Arnett, who spent 12 years as the master distiller at Jack Daniels. So between Chris, Heath and I, uh, working at three different distilleries, uh, we were, uh, were able to change laws that dated back to the late 1930s that I think were very restrictive. It made it difficult uh, for distilleries to do well in the state of Tennessee. Not really knowing as we were working on these things that it would kind of be creating a pathway for us to join forces together. Together, they changed laws in 2009. The distilled spirits law of Tennessee were written right after prohibition. So they dated back to the late 1930s and none of them had really ever changed. So if I wanted to start a distillery, folks had to vote on it. And, you know, to me, that was just crazy. Like, we didn't vote on the Titans coming to town or Nissan or, you know, anybody else starting a business. You know, so why would we limit entrepreneurship and the free market the way we were doing? And so the change was pretty simple. Now, not only is a vote not required, but distilleries can be built in counties all over the state. Probably at least one whiskey from Tennessee that everybody's had before, but there's probably 40 more to try. Many of these are part of the Tennessee Whiskey Trail, which Chris Tatum helped start up. We've got six plus million people that visit the trail. Uh, I think the largest visitation for the Kentucky Bourbon Trail is a little over 1.3 or 1.4 million. So, you know, you're talking to three or four multiplier you know, on the trail that's limited around since 17. Years in the making, Jeff, Heath, and Chris joined together creating company distilling that through Saturday is celebrating their big opening in Thompson Station. The people think of company as being a business entity, but really it's more the people that you gather with. The original definition of company was those you break bread with. And we've kind of largely lost that uh, over the last decades. You know, I think it was a much more common phrase when I was young than it is now. We want to bring it back to that. An effort to bring spirits back to being about gathering together, one bottle at a time. In Williamson County, Claire Kopsky. It smells so good. News Channel 5.